today we are going to talk on box layout so i would recommend please uh, do visit my first video on the box layout i have given more detail what is the box layout how to use that what is the purpose so in short box layout is the standard way to display the distribution of your data set so if this is the data set and if you want to know all about the five number summary so how to get it what is the five number summary so in the box plot you will get the q1 quartile 1 here q2 quartile 2 and this is the q3 quartile 3 q2 is also called the median the median of the data set and this is called the mean value of your data set and this is called the max value of data set so if you see the box from q1 to q3 this is the difference of the q3 minus q1 this is also called the iqr inter quartile range so now uh, see how to do that so uh, if this data is given first you have to sort this data in the ascending order so if you do this sort you take the 10 10 is the lowest cut the 10 then you have the 11 one more 11 then then we have the 12 we have the 2 12 then we have the 13 we have 14 2 14 then we have the 15 then 17 and 22 how many data we have 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 so 1 2 3 4 5 so this is the half right 6 and 6 so this is the median data how to get the median 12 plus 13 by 2 so it become the 25 by 2 this got the 12.5 this is your q2 this is the median okay how to get the q1 how many data 1 2 3 4 5 6 so this middle data so any of both are same so average it will be the same so average is is the q1 now see here 1 2 3 4 5 6 so middle data is the this one So how do we do that? 14 plus 15 by 2, 29 by 2 is equal to 14 dot 5. So this is the Q3. So we got the Q1, Q2, and Q3. We have to also find out what is the IQR. How to get the IQR? Q3 minus Q1. Okay. So Q3 is the 14.5 and minus L1. So three point five is the IQR yeah. interquartile range. So now next we have to find out whether is any data is outlier or not. So box plot is also very useful to find out the outliers. What is the outliers? Any the data which is complete different from your given data set. So how to find out? So to check whether any outliers are there in our data set or not we have to check it and one thing more outlier could be the after max and before the mean so this is called the higher outlier and if anything is come here it is called the lower outlier so we have to check both how to check first we check higher outlier how to check formula is that q3 plus 1.5 into iqr so we have the q3 here 14 plus 5 1.5 into iqr this 3.5 is the iqr protein dot and let me do this or we can do like this uh 5 7 uh 
Any data more than ninety point seven five, if there in your data set, that is the outlier. Check any data. Yes, we got the one data. Twenty two is the outlier because it is more than the nineteen point seven five. So this is the outlier. The same way we can check the your outlier. How to check? Q one minus. Here I did the plus. Here we doing the minus. One point five into IQR. So eleven minus one point five into IQR is equal to the five point two five. So so five point two five. Any data less than seven point seven five would be the outlier. But we don't have the minimum data is ten. So we don't have any lower outlier. So in this case, now the remaining data. After outlier, we have from 10 to 17. So out of 10 to 17, this is the mean data, and this is the max data. So let me put all the data together to easy visualize. Q1 is 11. Q2 12.5. Q3 14.5. Mean ten, max seventeen, outlier twenty-two. So in this scale, put that Q one is equal to eleven, Q two twelve point five, Q three fourteen point five. Okay. So actually, just a little bit move this part here because it is not perfect for me. Then mean is the ten, max is the seventeen, and outlier is the twenty-two. So this is the box plot of your given data. Uh, you can do some more example where uh, you don't have the outlier or you have the lower outlier. You can do your practice. But this is the basic um, funda how to create the box plot. Thank you very much.